really quick uh, demonstration just to show you how to install the ORCID package for Dynamo. A lot of people have trouble um, installing this package properly, um, so this is just a little guide on how you can do it. Now before you do install the package, you do need to make sure that you're logged in as your user profile. So if you work on a company computer for example, you're not going to want to be running things as administrator. In my experience, you'll want to install everything as a user profile. So you may need to check with your IT department first on how that is configured. I find that's one of the reasons the install process doesn't always work. Um, but once you have installed the ORCID package off the package manager, uh, what you can do first is just place this about readme node. And this will automatically take you to the author's GitHub where he stores the, installs the actual installer for the package itself. So a lot of people will come to me and say, hey, I've installed ORCID and it only has one node. Well, you haven't quite followed the instructions that, that it sort of gives you after that point. So you're now on the author's GitHub where he maintains the package. Uh, the first thing you're going to want to do is actually download the installers, which he keeps under builds. And in my case, I'm using Orchid for Dynamo 2.6 for Revit 2021. Um, depending on the version of Dynamo you're using, you may wish to use a different installer. For example, we have 2.3, we have 2.0 and 1.3, uh, but I want the 2.6 installer. So I'm just gonna click on that and download the file. And I'm also gonna need to, in, to download and install Orchid samples. So again, I'm gonna download that samples exe. And that should download soon. It's a little bit bigger than the main installer. So first of all, um, we will actually probably just close Dynamo and Revit whilst I do this. Um, usually when you install things, it's good to close the program the installer is going to be working upon. So first of all, I'm just going to run the EXE for Dynamo 2.6. Um, sometimes you might get a warning about running it if it's uh, unsecure. Um, but in this case, I will run the installer in English in my case. Um, there's a little bit of a, a readme you can go through. But we're just going to install this. And you can see it's done. It's very quick, very straightforward. Um, I'm then, once this finishes, going to just install Orchid samples. And again, it'll be a very similar process. Um, in this case, I believe it's even quicker. So English. And usually it saves to my documents. You can tell it to save somewhere else if you want. Um, I already have Orchid samples installed, but I'm just going to install it again. And you get the option of which types of samples you wish to install. In my case, I'm just going to do 2.x.x 2 because .x .x, I'm in a version 2 of Dynamo. And this should just go and save some sample files that show how the ORCID package works. Um, but we can see now that all these nodes which are in ORCID uh, are working. And at this point, we should expect to be able to use um, any of the ORCID nodes um, and we're good to go. I'll just quickly maybe check one. Um, I'll just check the parameters in my Revit project maybe. In this case, um, everything looks to be there. Um, yeah, I believe I believe everything's working from what I can see. I'm just trying to find one node that I can use, such as the current current document from Orchid or current directory. Complete my run, and there we go. We can see that now we're getting a output from the from the Orchid node. There we go. So that's how you can install Orchid, and hopefully this helps people struggling with this um, and helps you explore what is what is a really great Dynamo package, and also maybe helps the author of the package have a resource that he can share with people to save him some time as well. So I'll see you in uh, future videos. Thanks. Take care. Bye.